What's up, everybody? Fred Lam here, and welcome back to our Print Profit series, where myself, Fred Lam, and Michael Shi, hey everyone, will be sharing with you exactly how you can actually build your Shopify business from zero to five hundred dollars a day using nothing but print on demand, and most importantly, without drop shipping. All right. If you guys love any of our video content on Print Profits, seriously, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below so we can actually see what you guys like and what you guys don't like. And getting your guys' feedback is very important to me. So now in this episode, let's now really dive right in. We've covered in the previous episodes overview, the steps, and obviously even traffic. Right yeah. now, let's talk about what is the one key mm-hmm. for a person to make it. And not make it right. in print on demand. Right. From all your experience, what do you think it is? So, from all my experience, I would say being passionate about what you're doing and about the niche you're jumping into is very important. Um, just because this is a business, this is online business, you have to treat it as a business. There will be ups and downs, but you have to realize that you're enjoying what you're doing and you're building a long-term sustainable business. So when you have that passion and tie, uh, tied to it, it's much easier to work in your business. Of course, there's gonna be later on, if you grow bigger, you can have financial freedom and as well as location freedom once you learn the foundations of how the moving parts work. But without mastering the skill, nothing of not it's not possible to have that luxury to be freedom without knowing that uh, how to run the business properly mm-hmm. right so basically you are also a fan of niche business Correct. yeah because obviously let's say that if i know that you love playing basketball so for you to sell to people that also love basketball mm-hmm. it's going to be a lot easier than you selling to people who likes football right right yeah. So the niche you're jumping into, you should have a passion towards it as well. Just because um, you not only know that demographic really well already, you can um, tailor your ads and your designs towards that demographic so they understand and have that emotional feeling towards what you're selling. And to be honest, I think that emotional feeling, that emotional connection you get with um, your customer is the, a large reason why your products will sell. So to understand them really well before you start designing is really key to success in with print on demand. So really the key is you gotta be the customer. You gotta be in the customer's shoe. You gotta basically know what they like or what lingual they use. Because exactly. I would assume like obviously, as we all know, in different niche or yeah. in different market, people use a different lingual. Yeah. Like golfing, they use words like drive and swing and for for yeah. us that don't play golf, we're like, what the heck does that mean, right? Yeah, correct. It doesn't really mean anything yeah. and I think that is a very important key. But let's talk about the emotion side. I actually heard it and yeah. I didn't want I, I wanna echo it a little bit more and right. emphasize that a little bit. Why do you believe that selling based on emotion, especially on print on demand, is so important for a business? Well it's all about that emotional connection when they see your ad and they resonate with what you're trying to portray. And that is why people get click on your ad and go to your site. If they don't even care about what you're selling, they don't even understand the words that you're trying to promote, then there's no engagement, there's no connection. And when there's no connection, people are not um, engaged enough to click to your site to learn more about your business. So that is why that emotion is really important when you're selling with print on demand products. So let me ask you this question then. Obviously, the emotion is really selling that person based on feeling, and this doesn't just apply, right. okay, to print on demand mm-hmm. or drop shipping or e-commerce. Mm-hmm. This actually applies to all forms of business. Okay. For me, when I was uh, working with BMW, one thing that I know for a fact that people are coming back to buy a BMW yeah. over and over and over again is because of the experience. Right. They are emotionally attached to the brand. Mm-hmm. And here's actually something that I learned, and for those of you, this is maybe a really good takeaway for you too. I did question, and that's why emotion is very important, and I'll, and I'll emphasize in a bit, I'll share the background story first. I asked one of the general manager, I was right. like, 
So I've gone through two cycles of BMW changing and facelifting their cars. Right. And I asked them one quick question. I said, why is the grill always the same? So if you guys know, if you look back at like a BMW 20 years ago, the grill, the nose is the same. Right. The second thing that is actually the same is the interior, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? The interior are always the same. Right. There are some technology involvement, yeah. but overall the look and feel is the same. And I asked why, right? Simple question. So I know from a marketing standpoint how to sell the freaking car and get people to go to the store to buy a car. Yeah. And they basically said that BMW wants to focus a lot on retention. Right. Getting their current customers to keep buying again. Mm -hmm. They want the emotional attachments to the brand. And they do so in the subconscious level by having the same grill, by having the same interior. So each time they get into their BMW, they basically know and feel the exact same thing, that they enjoy the driving experience. Right. And this actually applies to every kind of business, including print on demand, Correct. because people want to buy based on emotion. Right. And with that, if you can actually sell on their emotion, mm -hmm. you can literally and seriously make a big profit for your business. Yeah. Now, when emotions, emotional selling, there are so many different kinds of emotion. There's happy, there is sadness, uh -huh. there is anger, yep. there is frustration. But I would say for print on demand, it would be more on the happy side. Well, happy side, or as really the extreme, happy side or very sad side. Oh, um, really? Even sad side, yeah, because if you're targeting with people who lost their dog, mm -hmm. they want to remember this, treasure this memory that they had with their dog, then a jewelry with a piece that actually goes towards that market will work well as well oh wow that makes sense yeah. i never actually thought about that i always thought like people that are buying print on the mass that were always like joyful and happy yeah. but us oh, i guess selling based on sadness works really well too and it does make sense because it emotionally triggers them right if they actually owns a dog yeah. then they'll be like oh man i miss my dog i wish that i can remember my dog right. and all those others so that really makes sense right. i get why so again selling based on emotion so that is really the number one key mm -hmm. when it comes to print on demand. If you can actually have the design yeah. to s have an emotional feeling yeah. and have the ad showing to the audience to trigger that emotion, then I bet the conversion rate is gonna be pretty drastic. Yeah, and not all the time you can sell directly to the person. What about someone buying that gift? If I was to buy a bracelet for my wife and the message is, I love my wifey, very simple message, but my, when my wife sees it, it's like, okay, that's amazing. I have that connection. And when they open the box, it's like that emotional connection again. Mm. Right? So I don't have to be the person buying it. It could be that emotional attachment to the gift I'm giving or the person I'm giving to. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That totally makes sense. And I guess a lot of, yeah, like jewelry, for example, which you actually share exactly how to do it in your Print Profits Bootcamp, right. which is absolutely free. If you guys want access to the Print Profit Bootcamp, 10 part video training series, absolutely free. You can be a total noob. You can start building your Shopify store with print on demand, selling jewelries. There's a link right below in the video description. Make sure you get a copy of that. All right, now to talk about more, uh, to emphasize the emotion a little bit more, one key question that I do have for you, mm -hmm. do you believe that people are buying print on demand products? They are buying based on want, or need and hear me out yeah there I, I the reason why i'm asking that is because i need a t-shirt mm -hmm. i need a bag i need a shoe yeah. i need a pillow cover yeah. but in reality when it comes to advertising and attracting customer right yeah are we selling based on want or based on need i think it's more want mm. um there's many levels to explain this but want in a way you are proud to wear this t-shirt and tell everyone the world that I'm a dog lover, right? You don't necessarily need to show people, but you want to feel that, hey, I'm a dog lover and I want to tell people. So definitely I think want is um, a good trigger for these people who want to buy. Excellent, yeah. that's amazing. And again, I did not, I purposely set up that question for him. He doesn't know that that question was coming. And I keep telling you guys, sell based on want. People don't buy based on need. They don't need 
your product. They Correct. want your product, and that's how you can charge a premium mm-hmm. for your products. All right, so guys, listen. If you guys love the golden nuggets that Michael had to share with you guys all, make sure you leave a comment right below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and his YouTube channel. Links are right below. And before we hop off for this video segment, here's the deal. Michael and I are hosting a brand new workshop where it's going to walk you through his $1 million funnel on print on demand, show you everything that you need to know, the exact blueprints, everything in between, giving you watch over the shoulder analogy. And if you want to really crush it this year with print on demand and seriously build an empire of selling a wide variety of products without you investing a single penny into it, link is right down below. Save your seat for a live workshop that is coming up. You are going to be blown away. And I would seriously ask you guys to allocate at least two hours. Grab a piece of paper and pen to make sure you take notes because we're gonna dive it in into really deep and showing you guys behind the scenes all about print on demand. So you gotta make sure you gotta basically scroll down. There's a link to sign up for our free workshop. Save your seat. Make sure you're there live, mark it on your calendar, do everything to remind you, tell your dog to remind you or something. Just make sure you're there, you're gonna be live, okay? And we're gonna basically host that workshop just for you. It's 100% free, no credit cards needed. Again, link is right below. Other than that, thank you, Michael, for sharing all these information. Um, we're gonna have a lot more video segments coming up, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and his YouTube channel to get more video training just like these. All right, I'll see you guys then. Thanks, everyone.